So we talk a lot about openness, which is one of the five essential collaboration skills in the Radical Collaboration Program. Right. But in order to be open, I, and it requires me to be vulnerable, it requires me to be authentic right. and, and aware, like, and I think psychological safety is an important part of this. I would say it is the it is the foundation of building everything else upon. You know, it's it's really core. And the the this acronym you see up here, safety, comes from the book by Dan Radecki and Leonie Holf um, from the Academy of Brain Based Leadership, where they kind of go through kind of the social drivers, all brain based um, uh, phenomenons which is brain's preferences. So our brain needs security, which is having certainty, predictability, you know, it doesn't like change. A is about autonomy, which is control over one's environment. Um, the ability to feel, even the perception of control of your environment has a lot of big value for your brain in terms of relieving stress. Um, fairness, which is uh, fair exchange, um, not so much about equality as much as equity. A lot of procedural fairness things. This is why uh, you know organizations are kind of moving away from performance management systems because it just creates such disparity or perception of lack of fairness in organizations. Uh, esteem is basically how I see myself, how I see myself in comparison to others, and how I think other people see me. Um, this is why public speaking is probably such a big fear out there because of that social kind of uh, uh, stigma around how you might be seeing me right now. I mean, even doing this work can be a little bit outside my comfort zone. And it's probably tied to this. Trust is about um, in-group versus out-group dynamics. So I have higher levels of oxytocin when I am with people that I'm familiar with. I feel safer with them. And then the U is kind of the wild card, which is, um, you know, if you think of you and your life experiences, the way you see the world, your biases, your level of education, your... So of all of these five or all of these six, this is like the, the magic, the, you know, the magic card, if you will, or the, the, um, the, uh, the joker card, the wild card, because the, you, you might have certain preferences for these based on certain situations, based upon how you experience life. So for me, autonomy is my number one, because I grew up with a lot of autonomy. I hate being told what to do. So do you have a preference based upon your experience? Yeah, I think for me, it's um, somehow esteem is something that I need to, how I see myself and um, in how being seen by others. Uh, and one of the things is because I feel like I grew up not feeling seen, not feeling heard. So it's actually something that had been more suppressed. And it's kind of my desire to have some significance. Um, and, and I recognize it's not about outside validation. It's about me, myself, giving myself the validation and building this, this esteem so and worthiness. Was this useful to read in terms of understanding? Incredible, of it? Yeah. incredible. Yeah. And what I love about it too is the saying, it's like, it's not me, it's my brain. Right. Just like <laughs> disassociating myself from it and sometimes even having a conversation with my brain. Right. Like it's, it's really funny yeah. um, where Self? you can, <laughs> there's a conversation going on. Well, I think too, so for those of you in the commons, if you're interested, uh, definitely reach out to Leone. Um, she's based in Australia, but very accessible. Um, they have a number of different workshops that they provide, big champion for their work. And uh, I think for someone in the commons, understanding these five, six domains, if you will, um, very useful tool, whether you're a facilitator or a team member or a team leader, um, some big stuff. Because psychological safety, as Amy Edmondson talks about, game changer in every organization.